The next thing to take a look at after the pre-filter policy is our security intelligence. And this is what you're getting <laughs> for your, for your hard-earned dollars. Um, and of course, there's a lot more to it than, than just this, but this is what I get excited about. The security intelligence blocks traffic based on IP address URL and DNS known to have a bad reputation. Now, if you've been following Cisco for a while, you may remember um, way back, they used to partner with Trend Micro. They had an antivirus product. It was available on a blade that went in the ASA. Um, content services uh, card or content services module. And again, ran uh, that Trend Micro code on there and it did things like you know antivirus, it had some threat intelligence. But at the time, uh, there was a different vendor um, making a whole lot of noise. And that vendor was Ironport. And they had this reputation filter called Senderbase. And Senderbase had global reputation data from everybody on the globe and the types of emails that they sent and the quantity and the frequency and anything that fell outside of that was suspicious. So their threat intelligence was so good, other vendors couldn't compete that well, which is of course where Cisco came in and acquired them and made all of their best attributes, attributes of other feature, uh, of other products. So Senderbase evolved into something called Sensorbase, where uh, IDS sensors, IPS sensors around the globe were sharing threat intelligence data. If somebody attacks another Cisco customer, we're gonna see that, we're gonna know that it's not good. And it gets shared among other Cisco customers. Really, really slick. So this is our threat intelligence. Um, this feed is constantly being curated, tuned, and updated by the Talus group. And when you buy a firewall, if you stop paying for your support contract and you don't have this feed, your firewall is not as effective as it once was. Um, we want that up-to-date intelligence. And again, what makes it so powerful is it's leveraged as the first line of defense. What's that mean? Well, it's really smart and it's really low overhead to implement. We can throw away all sorts of garbage traffic before we start jumping in there with Snort, which again, takes more resources. We can use whitelists and we can use blacklists to allow blocked connections. The blacklists come from Cisco. They say, hey, these guys are scumbags. You don't want to talk to them. Well, one of the things on the blacklist goes back to past customers. Um, you know, maybe somebody on that blacklist is you. Maybe you've been using some edgy marketing practices on your post fix servers that are at some co-location facility and it's broken corporate email. Oh no, we come in and we go to our whitelist and we add our own mail server that wound up on somebody else's blacklist. <laughs> or alternatively, you can do things like dynamic blocking. We can make sure that we never block ourselves. If I'm trying to attack your organization, if I'm a malicious user and I really don't like you, I can try throwing an attack and I see that my connection just got blocked. I go, hmm, can I forge an attack and get you to block a connection of something important? Like the root DNS servers. If I can forge attacks from these root DNS servers, that's 13 Anycast IPs, and you block them, you're gonna break some things. So you might come back in after you learn that lesson and whitelist the 13 root DNS servers. So nobody does that. If I'm targeting you and I know you about your extranet partners, if I know about um, the CEO's house has got a static IP and maybe I can forge attacks from him just to get him knocked off. In any of those cases, you can protect yourself with the whitelist. Um, again, the nice thing about this is it gets rid of some traffic before we start doing those resources intensive applications. What's that mean? It means when you're sizing your environment, you go, how much firewall do I need? Well, I don't know, how much traffic are you inspecting? Ideally, we wanna throw away the bulk of traffic that's harmful, I should say, not the bulk of all traffic, but we wanna identify as much harmful traffic as early on as we can because that's a cheap way to throw it away. And the security intelligence really helps us with that. Uh, as mentioned, I think everybody knows blacklist is for traffic that's considered malicious. This traffic uh, can be blocked or monitored. For blocking, we don't need to do any type of further inspection, just throw it away. The whitelist is to override things that could appear in the blacklist. You can find yourself on these, things happen. Um, in that case, the white mit, that whitelist is gonna allow the traffic to come through. It doesn't need to generate events necessarily, but it's gonna pass that traffic through. Once it comes through, it may hit these different inspection engines, which are supposed to do some more processing. But that's kind of the point, right? Uh, looking at security intelligence objects. So 
what do we get from Cisco? Well, you've got feeds. Uh, the feed comes from Cisco. The list is something you build yourself. We can tie this into our network and URL objects. And then you've got concepts like a global whitelist and a global blacklist. Um, a lot of times this is done just based on IP addresses. And you can have separate policies for DNS and for URLs. And again, we can have whitelists and blacklists for these. Now, when we go through and we start pulling down these lists, you can add lists from other third parties. So you may pay like a separate security vendor for a threat intelligence feed. They might have the top hostile actors that day. Well, I can take their list that they give me and I can import it here. Again, you can also retrieve those lists here under feeds. We can create additional lists, we can edit them and so forth. So the use case for these feed objects, it's what we leverage to automatically download a list of IP addresses, URLs, and DNS names onto the device. The default feed, which is really pretty good, is what's coming from Cisco Talus. It provides categories that can be used within our blacklist. So we can turn things on and off as appropriate to the organization. Of course, you can create a custom feed, but it's nice that the things that we get right out of the box are doing most of what we want. Then afterwards, we'll build on top of that by filtering additional uh, sources, destinations, um, you know, based on whatever is appropriate for our environment. And here, as you're going through, uh, just kind of doing your auditing, doing your day-to-day -day tasks, looking at different uh, traffic conditions, looking at different flows, if we see something that we don't like, you can right click on that target and we can go ahead and add it to a blacklist or whitelist as needed. So here's a security intelligence use case. We want to report an SI if the attacker communications uh, are within your network, but we don't want to block. So we're logging, but not dropping. Uh, we want to block all known bad IP addresses and URLs, and we want to prevent the partner server URL from being blacklisted. So you can take care of all this pretty easily. There's a tab here uh, for security intelligence. Within it, you've got available objects you can reference. You've got zones that should look familiar. And then here, we've got our whitelist and our blacklist. Again, looking at security intelligence events, remember anything that happens on firepower threat defense gets punted to FMC. So this is typically where we log in and look around to see what's happening on the device. Uh, in this particular uh, situation, we're looking at an event. We can see first packet, last packet, if it was blocked, the reason, the initiator, the responder, get a responder country, security intelligence category, and so forth. Um, very, very cool. This GOIP data, something that, you know, I've been doing ASAs for a long time, back since they were PIXs, and uh, it's just nice to be working on it, looking through it, and seeing that GOIP data right there in front of us.